So uh, we can look at kind of the way I do um, my scans. So essentially what I do is I've got this uh, scan here and, and you go up into market scanner in, in TrendSpider and uh, it's got a four hour MACD cross up. That's all I'm looking for. And you've got all of these options. Uh, you can even do crypto if you want. So I'll look at my brokerage holdings first. And when I go in here, Oxy comes up. Um, you know, again, when you look at this one, it won't pull up my algorithm here. It won't pull up the buys and sells, but it looks at a four hour chart because I'm looking at a four hour chart uh, on my scans. So Oxy is one that it pulls up. Now, what I'll typically do is I'll go into these recently viewed as well. But also what I really like about TrendSpider is look, they have all the ARC funds. You can pull up any ARC fund that you want, or you can do all of the ARC funds, all holdings. And so it comes up, there's nothing here. Nothing in the ARC funds has crossed up on a four hour chart. Um, when you look at, this is another nice one that I look at, all US ETFs. Now this always comes up with an enormous list of uh, MACD cross-ups. I will usually scroll through it. It takes quite a while to run through it because it's looking at every chart that it's got. Um, but you can see all of these, and this is the pre-market change. So if you're seeing a pre-market change, SDAO, this is probably, yeah, it's an ultra short Dow stock, um, ETF. Uh, DXD, this is a ultra short Dow 30. Um, you know, again, anything that's down seems to be up. TIPX, this is a one to 10 year tips, treasury. I think that that's what tips is. But uh, this one's up 4%, probably because the bond market is moving significantly up. So, um, you know, again, you look at that one. I love this. A and again, uh, TrendSpider, if you want a free trial, go to my Twitter. The pinned tweet has a, a, a link for a free trial. The other portion that I like in this is you can look at the Dow 30. You can look at the NASDAQ 100. You can look at the S&P 100, which is typically what I do. But the other portion that I look at is energy. And I'll go in here and I will look at these stocks. Now, um, the one that I like, let me look at my notes, is VTNR. Uh, and this one came up. And this one's interesting because what I'll do is I'll look at this. And you can see there's a huge gap down here on earnings. Well, one of these is, uh, you know, again, you think about it. Um, uh, any reaction by the market is an overreaction. Look at how oversold this is on the RSI down there. You're at 38 on the RSI coming off of uh, 29. Now, when I look at this MACD, you've got a MACD cross up. And that's what I like to see is that MACD cross up. I will go over here, I will go into my strategy tester, I will pull up my algorithm, and I will run the algorithm. 967% is your gain in the algorithm. 1,227% is what you would make uh, just buying and holding. Now, here's the killer. Your average win is 82%. You had 30 positions taken within 1,000 candles, 9 wins, 21 losses. So you're more likely to get a loss than a win. But if you can pick a win, it's usually a huge win in this particular stock. Now, when I look at this and I go to daily, um, look at this daily chart. You're not quite at the lows, but what you've gotten is, uh, let's see, VRTX, let's VTNR. Let's look at VTNR. Oh, um, let's see what happened. And again, they're not making money. Uh, so August 10th downgrade uh, to perform. Here's how analysts view uh, VTNR performing in the near term. Do, 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 do. The latest coverage, presage a bad day for Vertex with analysts making across the board cuts to statutory estimates. After the ground of covering are now predicting revenues of 2.9 billion. If met, this would reflect a substantial 169% improvement in sales compared to the last 12 months. Losses are predicted to fall substantially before the latest update. The analysts had been forecasting 
Revenues of $3.3 billion. Uh, again, any reaction is an overreaction. Um, so if you want to read this, go on Finviz. It's the top one. But when I look at this and I, I, I run the algorithm, again, when you look at the algorithm on this, um, you had a cross up here at $7.81. It may have put in the bottom here at six eighty six. It did not quite cover this gap. See this gap here between six twenty one and six eighty. There's a possibility it goes back down to that gap. Um, that's the only thing that I see on this one. Uh, you're buying into weakness on this, so you're gambling. But do I see this going up from seven dollars and eighty one cents? Let's look at VTNR. Uh, I'm gonna look at it, and I know you can't kind of see it, but VTNR uh, seven sixty in the uh, pre market. So I like it, but this again is, is something that how I look at uh, things and how to find them. A again, you, you do the scan in, in TrendSpider, you go and do your research. So I like it. I'm gonna stop the screen recording here uh, and I'll post this on YouTube.